Good to be here. Good to be seen. Good to see you. Uh, I was talking the other day about so many of us just eat and begin our journey back home and we never really get together for a closing prayer and I think that's so much of what we need to do. In the Bible, the fourth chapter of Genesis is a story. It's the beginning of mankind. It's about Adam and Eve having two sons. God's name was Cain and Abel. They grew up to become men, and they both chose a profession. One was a herdsman, one was a tiller of the ground. And they both came before God to make an offering. One came bringing the first of his fruit, and one brought a fatty offering, the best he had in the form of a calf, a lamb. But there was conflict between the brothers long before the altar. And I think one of the most profound questions comes up in this particular chapter of Genesis. There was so much conflict and animosity between the brothers that one day Cain rose up and killed his brother Abel and buried him because he was jealous of his offering. And the question was, when God came and spoke to him, where are thou, brother? And his response were, am I my brother's keeper? So I ask you tonight, are you your brother's keeper? You have to be. You must be concerned about your brother. You are your brother's keeper. You have many members of this Willis family who were not able to make it here t this weekend, whether it was because of finance or whether it was because of failing health. Whatever the reason it was, don't forget about them. Go back and let them know that you love them. God gives us a command to love he, one another. Where there is love, it covers a multitude of sins. It covers a multitude of problems. We are to embrace one another. We are to lift one another up. We are to admonish one another. If your brother is caught in a fault, go to him and share with him and lift him up. Never look down on a brother, a family member, unless you're looking down to help him up. You are your brother's keeper. So put down your titles, put down your fancy cars and your big incomes, and look at the one who did not succeed in the form of what you did. You are here tonight because God blessed you financially to get here. It costs money to get here tonight. It costs money to stay here tonight or to spend time here this weekend. But you have family members that could not afford to be here. One of the reasons they probably can't be here because at some point in their life, they had a decision to make. They made the choice and it was the wrong choice. And they end up going the wrong direction. But you are your brother's keeper. You are only as strong as the weakest link in your family. If you really love your brother, go back, reach out of hand, and tell him that you still love him in spite of him, and give him another opportunity. Don't say, I saw it coming, but that's what we say, you know. When you see your brother fail, and I say brother, I mean your sisters also. We're quick to say, I saw it coming. I tried to show him. How many times would you forgive your brother? The question was asked in the Bible. Can I give, forgive him seven times? Surely seven times is enough to forgive a brother that's messing up, isn't it? 
But the Bible says not seven, but seven the time seven. And if you have the kind of heart that you will document the counts, if you'll count 70 times seven just so you can turn your back on your brother, something's wrong with you. Examine yourself. You'll hear where you are tonight because God put something special in you. It's not about you, but it's about the God that's in you. So before you step on your brother's shoulder to make yourself look tall, get his permission. Brother, is it all right for me to stand on your shoulder tonight? I am my brother's keeper. Can I hear you say that? Look at look around at each other. And let, it doesn't mean hear you say it openly. I am, I am my brother's keeper. My brother's keeper. And, I and I love him because he's my brother. I want you to close your eyes right where you are. And just touch whoever you're sitting next to. Just reach out and extend hands, old hands for a minute and show unity. Father God, we come tonight. We come thanking you for the opportunity.